All right, now we covered most of the things and in this video, we want to talk about classes a bit and what does TypeScript offer to JavaScript classes. So first, let's have a simple JavaScript class. I'm going to call it person. We provide the curly brackets and the properties. And even though we have an error, but that's fine. That's a TypeScript error and not a JavaScript. And in fact, let me move this to JavaScript document so we can see the actual JavaScript code. So in order to have a new instance of this class, so we can have new person and we will set this to new person, the name of the class we just created. And then we would say, for example, new person name, and we will set this to Bob or whatever string we want to use. Now at this point, this name could be anything because we are inside vanilla JavaScript and there is no type assignment. But now I'm going to cut everything from here and then go back to our TypeScript document and paste it here. So TypeScript adds types and visibility modifiers to JavaScript classes. For instance, at the moment you can see this name is giving me an error and just like the functions, it says name implicitly has any type and that is not allowed. So we need to say, what is this name's type? Again, we can say colon a string, but now we have another error. So if you hover over it, it complains that name has no initializer and it's not assigned in the constructor. So we need to use our constructor and that's what we normally do in any class. We use the constructor function to pass in arguments to our class. So I'm going to say constructor and we are going to accept the name that is going to be a string and set this name to the name we get from the constructor. So again, this is just JavaScript classes. The only difference is this type assignment. Now you can see down here, we have an error because we need to now pass that name into this class constructor. Let's just use that Bob here and we can get rid of this last line and now all the errors are gone. And that is the first feature of TypeScript added to the JavaScript classes and that is type assignment. Now let's say we want to read this person's name and log it to the console. So I want to say console.log new person dot name. And if we go back to the terminal and run our app again, we can see that name in the console. However, TypeScript adds visibility modifiers to our classes as well. So I can make this name private by adding the keyword private. And as soon as I do that, you can see I have an error down here already that says name is not accessible outside of this class. So similar to many other languages, we have three modifiers and that is public, private and protected and how they work is similar to other programming languages. So public properties, that is the default modifier for all the properties is accessible from anywhere. So that's why before this name that was public, so we could access it down here and read it. However, private is only accessible within the class itself. This name is only accessible here. Then we have protected that makes this property accessible within this class and the classes which inherit this one. So for example, if I had another class here and I want to call it user and that would extends our person class, then I have access to the name. And let's just have a getter here that would return the name of the person or the user in this case. So let's use the public modifier, even though it's the default, but we will use it anyway. So we want to call this get name and we just want to return this that name. Now let's create an instance of that user. So we can say const new user and we will set this to new user that is now expecting a name because we are inheriting this person class. So let's say John this time. And then instead of logging new person name, because that's protected, we can't do that. We can say new user and then use the get name function to get the name. So let's go back to the terminal, run the same command. Now we get the name. So even though it is protected, but we can access it from another class because we are extending or inheriting from the parent class. But again, if I change this to private, and then this is giving me an error because it's not accessible outside of the person class. So you can see how these visibility modifiers in TypeScript can help us with JavaScript classes. And as I mentioned multiple times, again, this is only in development. If we take a look at our app, you can see there is no modifier or type assignment. 
So this was just an example to show you the visibility modifiers and how they work. So I'm going to delete this user class and keep things simple. I'm also going to delete these lines. So we have only one class and one statement down here. Let's change this back to public and we have the constructor. So we are creating a new person and I'm going to bring back console.log to log new person name into the console. So at the moment, if we run the command in the console, we get Bob. But down here, if I say new person that name, equals to, for example, Sarah, and then copy this console.log, paste it after that name change. Then back in the console, you can see we are changing the name from Bob to Sarah. Now we learned about another keyword in TypeScript and that is read only. So we can use that in our classes too. So we have the visibility modifier, then we can use the keyword read only, and then the name and then the type. With this change, you can see down here, now we have an error because we are trying to assign something else to this property, which is read only, and that is not allowed in TypeScript. So if you wanted to keep your property or values unchanged, you can use the read only modifier even within a class. So I'm going to delete these two lines and that's how we can have classes with type assignment and visibility modifiers in TypeScript that can be helpful in our development process. And that is about this video. See you at the next one.